guys, last time we talked about three ways or three keys to understand uh, debit and uh, credit entries in the double uh, entry accounting, business accounting. Uh, after that, last, last time I watched some other YouTube videos and then, then I, 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 of course, I learned something, but also for the most part, I was, was not happy with the, what has been presented. So here, let's uh, just uh, proceed with the uh, second uh, uh, keys. The first C, remember, I was talking about shake off the banking terminology and uh, focus on the accounting terminology. That's the first thing, uh, step number one. Uh, there's uh, another minor step where I guess you can call that the uh, step 1.1, right? Uh, it, uh, that means that uh, not just uh, uh, shaking off the banking terminology, but also shaking off some misunderstanding. One biggest one misunderstanding is that people think that, you know, debit and uh, credit are the two sides of the same coin. So as long as you keep one entry uh, on each side, for example, you know, a good example is that some company spend cash to buy a laptop. And then people will say, well, it doesn't matter whether you put the laptop in uh, as a debit or, or credit or you, whether you put a cash uh, as a debit or credit. It doesn't matter as long as you divide them, divide the two things into separate account. Well, that's a misunderstanding. I don't think that's true, but a lot of people believe in that. That is not true. Okay. That's a miss. Uh, important thing to remember is that, uh, if you, in this transaction, companies spend cash on laptop, then the laptop will be the equipment. That's a part of the asset, company asset. Asset is basically the resources that the company used to gain uh, profit, right? So having a new laptop, it's an increase. You make uh, make your asset uh, go up. So so that's one thing. But on the other hand, uh, you spend a cash. Cash is also uh, a set. Remember that that we'll, we'll talk about this later. That uh, uh, when we talk about the different categories of uh, accounts. We can have a set, we could have a, a liability, we could have a equity, right? So those, those kind of things, they have a, within each categories, we have a many different account. Cash account, uh, equipment, those are both, uh, account inside, uh, a set category. So here, you see that this is a very interesting example that it shows that, uh, you know, transactions can happen within the same category, meaning in this case, they are both about a set. They're just a different account. So cash is an account, uh, equipment is another account that both belongs to uh, a set. So in this case, it's very important for you to enter that uh, laptop as an uh, increase in uh, equipment. You will debit it, okay? On the other hand, you have to, because you are taking money out, the cash for the cash account, you will decrease it. So anything decreasing uh, a set will be uh, credit, okay? So imagine this, this is the right way. What about the wrong way? The wrong way, one wrong way will be like, uh, you know, you put a, a cash as a debit and then you put a laptop as a, a, a credit. That will in create the impression that you sold your laptop for cash. So that's a totally different thing. Okay, so that's why that's a very good example, I think, that to show that which uh, transaction, which part of a transaction goes to debit, which part of a transaction goes to credit uh, matters a lot. So here, this is the first thing we, I call it 1.1, uh, still the same step as the shaking of the misunderstanding, uh, the misses. And the next time we'll talk about, the next step we'll be talking about accounting equation. That's the best uh, secret 
that I haven't seen anybody talk about this. Uh, that's your best friend. A counting equation is your best friend for you to understand debit and credit. Let's uh, uh, move into that part. Now here, I made a, 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 a table, I think it's a, a, a figure, so this is actually a PNG image, uh, but it's made of a, a, a I, I think it's very important that on the top, you see that on the top, you see the, this the accounting equation, okay? This accounting equation, accounting equation basically says on the left-hand side, you have a set. On the right-hand side, you have a liability, and you also have a honors equity. Honors equity is a stick, uh, a stockholders equity. Basically their stock, their gains, their profit that they can put into their pocket. Okay. So those things, so here with this, uh, um, with this accounting equation, remember I said earlier, accounting equation is your best friend for you to understand debit or, uh, uh credit entry. Remember here, here, this is the only thing that you need to remember. Anything that increased uh, a set will be a debit. Anything uh, increased liability or stockholders equity, those will be the credit. So those are the things, they are the opposite direction. So on the left-hand side, if you increase the left-hand side, it's a debit. On the other, on the other hand, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> if you increase the liability and the honest equity, it's also uh, debit. Okay, uh, it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's also a credit. So this is uh, the very important thing. Other than this uh, accounting equation on the top, and then the next thing you see is a it's a it's a horizontal line and then a vertical line. This looks like a a big capital T. That's where the name of T accounting uh, comes uh, comes from. So you can see that uh, you know with the T accounting debit, it's always on the left, and then credit, it's always on the right. Okay, so you never got to confuse with that. So always remember, and also we have a. Uh, here are the two uh, items. One is a set. I put an up sign, up arrow. That means that anything increasing your asset will be a debit. Okay. And then the other thing is that uh, anything increasing your expenses, it's also a debit. Now on this side, on the right hand side, you see that uh, anything increased liability will be the credit. Similarly, anything increasing your equity, uh, honest, honest equity or stock, stockholders equity, it's also credit. Anything increasing the revenue, it's also, uh, uh, credit. So you see those, uh, the, those two things are, uh, the opposite. Okay. And also by the same token that if it's a anything, if it's a debit, then that means we'll go on the right hand side will anything will decrease in liability will become a debit, right? Because normally liability is called a naturally credit account, okay? And uh, uh, equity is also naturally uh, credit account. Revenue is re naturally credit account is because whenever you see liability increase, whenever you see equity increase, whenever you see revenue increase, that's a credit, okay? But the opposite is also true. Remember that the debit and, and credit are two sides of the same coin. So this, by this logic, it means that anything decreased liability, it's good, it's a debit. Anything decreased equity, anything decreased uh, revenue, these are all debit, okay? Now, thinking of the same thing, that's kind of confusing, make you, that's probably make your head spin, but here, let's look at it, uh, the logic for the credit. Remember, credit normally increase the liability, but uh, anything decrease the asset, that will make it a credit, okay? Anything decrease the expenses, will also make it a credit, okay? So those are the things that, that they, are, they are the opposite. Um, the good story, the good, the good news is that uh, um, they are the two sides of the same coin. So that means that if you understand the one part, 
you know, if you, for example, remember the, the example we, we talked about, uh, laptop. If you spend cash on a laptop, that means your equipment will go up. So that means that you, that's a, uh, that's a debit. Okay. So the other thing, yeah, the other side is you spend cash. You don't have to, uh, fully, you don't have to fully understand the logic. You can just say the cash part has to be, uh, credit. Okay, so you understand one, you understand all. So that's the good news of it. Okay, let's stop here. Let's uh, do that next time.